Hello everyone and welcome back to the good stuff. We are back at the 1857 uh, First American Chess Congress in a match, uh, the finals uh, of the First American Chess Congress, Louis Paulson versus Paul Charles Morphy. This is game six, as the title suggests, uh, legendary game six. Uh, why are why is this game legendary and the others uh, are not? Uh, we'll just have to uh, check out the game and then we will be able to decide for ourselves is it or is it not. Uh, but uh, current situation in the match after three games, uh, Morphy won one. Then uh, the second game ended in a draw. Morphy very dep depressed. Then Morphy loses game three. Then again uh, Morphy strikes in game four. Then again a draw in game five. And now we reach this game, and uh, it it's quite the game. Some of you might have seen it as a book of. Authors uh, often enjoy putting it uh, in their books as it's uh, it's useful for a lot of things. Uh, but uh, uh, let's uh, let's check it out. So Paulson opens with e4 as he usually does. We have e5 by Morphy, knight f3, knight to c6, and now they go into the four knights. Knight c3, knight to f6, the four knights game. Bishop to b5, uh, and now bishop to c5. So both players just rapidly developing pieces. We have castles by Paulson, castles by Morphy. Uh, and now Paulson goes for knight captures on e5. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a sneaky line that after knight captures you go d4, you win your piece back, and you trade off some of the pieces. But Morphy uh, shifts this into, into a variation where black actually sacrifices a pawn. So he just goes rook to e8, offers uh, knight captures on c6, so he can... Uh, develop his pieces even more rapidly. And now, if this was a modern game, a modern modern master, modern master would probably give back the piece with knight f3. We'd have knight captures and e4, captures, captures, c3, and then uh, follow up with the d4. And the game continues, uh, where white also wants to get some development in. Uh, but in those days, it was rude to do uh, to, to give back pawns. So knight captures on c6 by Paulson, d captures on c6, and bishop to c4 now. And here uh, Paulson kind of wants to trick Morphy a bit because if Morphy goes for the for the pawn now, then uh, Paulson has bishop captures on f7. And after king captures, knight captures, you will not be able to capture with the rook because of queen to f3 check, just gobbling up the rook. And now at the end the at the end of the line, you are simply up uh, up the exchange. Uh, in a better position. So after this bishop to c4 move, uh, uh, there are some. There are actually two games I found in the database from 1996 where this position was actually reached, where black went uh, knight to g4 and black was able to win both games. But uh, Morphy went to b5, he kicks away the bishop, and it is as of move 8 that this position has never been reached again. So bishop back to e2 by Paulson, and only now Morphy wins back his pawn. Knight captures, knight captures, and rook captures on e4. Bishop to f3 now, going after uh, the c6 pawn, but rook to e6, of course, keeping an eye on the pawn, but also ready to shift the rooks uh, to, to maybe f6, g6, or h6 if needed for the attack. We have c3, now preparing d4. If white can get d4 in, then uh, white should definitely be okay, but Morphy uh, prevents it. With queen to d3, says, nope, you are not developing this way. So Paulson has to figure out a different way how to develop his pieces. He finds b4. Uh, and okay, Bishop back to b6, and now a4. He wants to uh, uh, tra trade pawns here, maybe get the queen to a4, and then the, may maybe kick away the black queen uh, via queen to a6 uh, going after d3. Morphy says, okay, b captures on a4. We have queen captures on a4, and now bishop to d7, uh, defending the d7 pawn once again. Uh, and now... Uh, Paulson doesn't go queen to a6 right away, but instead first goes rook to a2. Uh, he wants to he wants to keep an eye uh, on the uh, d2 pawn and also uh, help, uh, have the rook help out with the defense of the second rank. Uh, but maybe queen to a6 was, was the way to go right away. Because here Morphy goes rook a to e8. Uh, and here uh, Paulson goes queen to a6. And we reach this uh, tension, uh, the position from the thumbnail. Now, it's hard to blame Paulson for this queen to a6 move because if you, if you just... Uh Check it out, it doesn't seem like there's something wrong with it. And even your engine, if you put this position into your engine, will not uh, do anything uh, wild. Unless uh, unless you, you let the engine go at it for a while. Uh, the engine has to crunch some numbers. And then only at the depth 31 does the engine reveal a secret here. So feel free to pause the video and try to find how Morphe punished uh, uh, Louis Paulson's insolence uh, that is queen to a6. Uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. 
So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, uh, congratulations, as it's not easy to find. Like I said, uh, Queen A6 is only a blunder at depth 31. And for those of you who just want, want to enjoy the show, it's Queen captures on F3. This is what Morphe played. Uh, and it took him 12 minutes to calculate all the ins and outs of, of this line. Uh, so there you have it. Morphe requires 12 minutes to calculate depth thir 31. Uh, and now uh, white is just down a piece. There's not much to do here. You have to accept the queen, otherwise you can continue playing the game being down a piece, and that's basically surrendering. So of course Paulson accepted the queen sacrifice, g captures on f3, and now Morphe continues the attack, rook g6 check. There is only one move for white, king to h1, and now comes bishop to h3, preparing bishop to g2 check. And uh, there is not much you can do about this. For example, if you block rook g1, then black just captures, captures, and the rook goes to e1 with check. Uh, queen has to block, only move, and rook captures on f1 is made. So this is not possible. So after bishop to h3, a rook to d1 was played by Paulson. Uh, but now bishop to g2 with check. Uh, we have king to g1, bishop captures on f3 with check, king to f1, uh, and now Morphe repeats bishop to g2 with check. Here, uh, after... I don't know exactly at, why, uh, at, at which point, but Johannes Zuckertort uh, found uh, uh, an even quicker way for black to win here. Zuckertort showed that just rook to g2 is enough, uh, ju just captures on f2, and there's pretty much nothing white can do. For example, if queen here captures king g1, captures on g2 check, and now wherever the king goes, uh, uh, rook g1 will be mate, as here it's a, it's a double check, so uh, both pieces deliver mate. So uh, this was the quicker way to do it, but Morphe, I think Morphe wanted to have ha have some fun here, uh, and he went for the most artistic way. He went bishop to g2 check, king to g1, bishop back to h3 check, only one move for the king, king to h1, and now bishop captures on f2, uh, taking away the g1 square from the white king, and now threatening bishop to g2 mate. And there is only one move that prevents mate here, and it's queen to f1. Paulson has to now give back the queen. Uh, which he does, Morphe captures it, Bishop captures, we have Rook captures, and now Rook to e2, completely uh, uh, nullifying any mobility of, of Paulson's pieces, uh, the Rook can't really do anything, you cannot uh, push the pawn because you lose the Rook, the Bishop doesn't have anywhere to go, and there is not much to do here. Paulson tried Rook to a1 with the idea that he wants to free his dark square Bishop, uh, but Morphe played Rook to h6, he even invites it. Uh, and there's there's not much to do here. Uh, Paulson played d4, uh, opening up a discovery against Morphe's rook. But once again, feel free to pause the video and uh, get this uh, uh, legendary game to an end uh, while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, uh, congratulations on spotting the only move that uh, really wins. Uh, and for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it's bishop to e3. Just blocking the attack towards the rook. And here uh, there is nothing more to do. And it was in this position on move 28 uh, that Louis Paulson resigned the game. And this beautiful, beautiful game was uh, uh, was played by, by both of them, but, but mostly accomplished by Paul Morphy. So really a brilliant set that queen captures an f3 move, um, uh, <laughs> really brutal stuff. Here he resigns because if captures, then it's just mate. Rook captures king g1 and rook here is mate. And if you don't go for it, uh, you could. Uh, the only move that uh, prevents mate is rook f2, but that's just super ugly. Uh, because still, Morphe just goes captures, and after captures, it seems like you're just down uh, the exchange, but after captures here with check, uh, this is forced. Rook h1 check, king has to move wherever, doesn't really matter, and then you capture the rook here. And even if white recaptures, you will again be up a whole rook, so not much, not much point in playing this. So after bishop to e3, Paulson resigned, and uh, before we end the video, let's just uh, check out that, uh, that beauty one more time. Uh, that uh, queen captures an f3 move, really, really, really awesome stuff. So queen to a6, try and put this uh, to your engine. Uh, I don't know, maybe it, unless you have like a really super engine, uh, it, it will not, uh, it will say, ah, bla black slightly better, but then uh, at depth 31, really go goes crazy, says, oh yeah, queen captures an f3, that, that's the stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's uh, the game. That's game six of the match. Uh, Paulson versus Morphy, 1857, First American Chess Congress. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Matthias Jakob, uh, Dario Zhivankovic, uh, Andrew Perry, Owen Wolf, and uh, Alexander uh, Afanasyev for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon. 
continuing the coverage of the Morphe saga, checking up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world, which is mostly uh, online events. Uh, so thank you all, I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day. And don't forget to show this game to your friends at the bar and the library.